Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where I just realized we didn't do anything with this colony ship last episode. Let's get that moving out over here. And we will go ahead and colonize the Zeldra 1 habitat. Fantastic. Okay, now we are drifting into position over here. Very slowly. Hello. How did we miss you? <laughs> I guess I didn't look over here. There's one over here, too. So let's just use our shipyard in our juggernaut and create two additional colony ships. There we go. And we'll colonize these as we declare war. Like, after we declare war. We are going to need to wait for a juggernaut to catch up. Juggernauts move very slowly, so it's going to be a little bit. But that's okay. We are pretty much ready to declare this. The only way that they can attack us for now is through here, assuming that they don't have access through the Galactic Entente, which I doubt that they do. Who, by the way, the Galactic Entente will actually probably be the last ones that we attack. We're going to be going after some of these other ones, like the Kandine Alliance. Yeah, we're going to go after them first. Just because they're way smaller and easier to deal with. The problem with the Galactic Entente is they're quite spread out. We're going to be fighting on many fronts. So that's why we want to have the Transaru Assimilators in the fold first. Now we might not be able to quite get to all of their territories. Because the Galactic Entente has closed borders over here, over here... And we might not be able to get to some of these. Although... We can attack here. And we probably should have a fleet up over this way. And one over here as well. So let's go ahead and send the Throndrite Shards to Arcturus. And the Lentipaz Fragments to Gemma. It's going to take them a few days to get there. There's Deviant Interference on Jared 1. Hmm. That's a lot of sky domes. We'll just have to deploy hunter killer drones and call this a mining world and put in a few districts. We'll replace this with a mining district as well. Although we apparently can't. Tile blockers? No. This would put us at, f at uh, 7 of 8 mining districts. That's odd. We can't seem to replace this agriculture district. But we can replace this generator district. Hmm. Well, that's fine. We'll go for it. Okay, so any other weird borders that we should know about. Negative. All of these look fine. Okay. Hopefully we'll get some open borders through the Entente. And we can eliminate them. That would be ideal. But uh, we'll see if that ends up happening or not. Okay. How long on those colony ships, those are coming out presently. Okay. You can come over here and colonize. That is Sprout that we want you to colonize. Excellent. And then you can come over... Where was that other one? Was that over here? Yes. The Pollux 2 habitat. There you go. Is our mega shipyard still upgrading? Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Fantastic. So realistically, we should have absolutely no problems with this war. I mean, these guys are pathetic, inferior, and pathetic to us. They're suspicious and belligerent, though, so that's nice. They have Federation Association status.
Confederation of Scion would join, the, the Galactic Entente would not, even though they're associated with the Galactic Entente. Okay. That'll be fine. Is it just me, or does this Federation music that uh, is playing right now? This here? This makes me think of two things, actually. Thematically, it feels like Hearts of Iron to me. But realistically, I'm more reminded of Victoria. It's interesting. It's certainly different from the normal Stellaris soundtrack. Not that that's necessarily a good thing. The Stellaris soundtrack is, after all, fantastic. However, we are going to be in position relatively soon, if these lag spikes on the month tick would stop anyway. Where's the Thrundrite shards right now? They're still 130 days away. Okay. I mean, we definitely have a lack of gateways in this area. But that's fine. I don't think we're going to need them. Excellent. Pretty soon we can start thinking about getting a 7th fleet. That's going to be exciting. As our colonies continue to grow. Speaking of our colonies, let's just go through them real quick. We need some housing over here. So, this is a generator world. Let's replace this bioreactor with a hive nexus. Or rather, a hive warren. There we go. That should solve that issue. As soon as the autosave is done. We do need jobs over here. That's complete. Fantastic. We need housing here. Or rather, we need a building here. But we are going to need housing here. So we'll go for a hive warren. This is a refinery world. We're just going to repair everything that is extant and see if we still need anything. Actually, we can go ahead and build a hive district. That's not going to be a problem. There's no other districts that we can build, so we might as well. Excellent. This research station here needs jobs. We can handle that. There we go, that's under control for now. This tech world, we can repair these structures and see if that fixes the issues that are here. Excellent. Same thing with this mining world. We'll go ahead and repair all of these as soon as this spike is done. Thanks, Month Tick. Excellent. There we go. This foundry station needs jobs. Consider it done. Generator station. You need structures. I'm going to go for a waste reprocessing center because you need amenities. And we're going to do the same thing here. If the game will let me scroll. There we go. Excellent. We're already constructing here. Although I do kind of want to queue up a mineral purification plant. There we go. This habitat here requires jobs, so we'll get a habitation district. This research station requires jobs, so we'll get a habitation district. Okay, these habitats down here, they aren't designated currently. We are going to go ahead and put in spawning pools and a habitation district, but we're also going to designate them as research stations. Spawning pools, habitation district. Spawning pools, and habitation district after I designate it this time, apparently. Now we are lacking in enough minerals to get this done. As soon as the month tick happens, we'll have it, and this is the last thing that we need to build. We are missing 21 minerals. And I just spent them on this. <laughs> okay, we do need this as soon as 
Actually, I'm going to buy additional minerals. 5,000 minerals. Problem solved. Okay. And with that, as soon as this month tick finishes up, I believe we are fully prepared. Yes, indeed. Okay. We are ready to declare on these guys. And this is going to be a containment CB. We have declared war. Stone Cold. Station under attack. Where did they have a fleet? Oh, over here. Yeah, they're going to get wrecked. Now, we need to take one more day so that the border is open. There we go. Now, that is the Confederation of Scion there. Okay. We'll sweep over and deal with that after. So, we're going to send this fleet in over here. This fleet, like so. These fleets will push this way and then split up. These fleets will come here. And then I think we'll send the Baronel Fragments over here. And the Trentite Fragments and Sakurine Shards down over this way. Okay, that'll do for now. Fantastic. Let's go. Starfish under attack. Hmm. We're going to back up and deal with these guys. I don't want them in our back line. Any other encroaching fleets? No. Okay, fantastic. So let's get turned around. Hostile station engaged. And our invasion has begun. Excellent. That's what I like to see. A lag spike. <laughs> okay, there we go. Perfect. And yeah, they're going to take out that station, but that's fine. Completely irrelevant. We are already in hyperspace. And here we are. So we'll just take this back. And then out we go. Excellent. So the Juggernaut, we're going to keep moving towards the front lines, but not quite at the front lines. So we have a decent source of ships. Okay. You know what? We never actually technically brought our armies in. <laughs> we'll start moving them over here. How are we looking for armies? 3262. Okay. Well, we're going to have to bombard this for sure. The Frisidian Shards can come over here. There is an FTL inhibitor on that planet. So, we'll have to do that. And that'll be fine. We're going to push through all of this territory super quickly. Similarly, this territory over here will fall pretty quickly. At least, when we're not lagging. Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and grab, I think, army damage. Excellent. Now, you guys over here, the Lentipaz Fragments... Where are you? You're these guys. Right. Start bombarding Hope's Tendrils, since the FTL inhibitor is tied to that. Okay. The Sakurine Shards, you're not doing anything. Come on up over here. Excellent. So far, this is going quite well. The Baronel Fragments are going to need to push down over this way. And the Throndrite Shards, you guys are here right now. The Transaru Assimilators went back over this way, so they do have borders with the Galactic Entente opened. I suppose I should expect that, since they have Association status. The Trentite Fragments, you guys can come on down to Nemozi. Fantastic. And of course our armies are on the way. And they'll be here relatively shortly. A 
establishing lithosphere. Excellent. Now there's a lot of stuff here, but we're going to back off for now and just be content with the starbase currently. There we go. Sakurin shards, you guys are going to push down over this way. And you can come down over here. Did we lose any ships yet? We have. We've lost one ship. Okay. Energy weapon damage upgrade came through. We'll go ahead and grab energy credits from jobs, I guess. That'll be fine. Trentite fragments, you guys can come down over this way. And you can prepare for our attack on the combine. Because that's going to be necessary to push through here. Our mega shipyard is now fully online. Fantastic. So here's our mega shipyard, which is fully online now, plus 100% ship build speed. And it has 20 shipyards. It can build 20 ships simultaneously. Our ship production capacity is now very, very thoroughly insane. I like it. But we're just going to continue pushing through the Transaru Assimilators as quick as we can. The Throndrite Shards are currently over here. They've taken this. That is fine. I'm going to pull them back now to Sheet. And we're going to check these. 2109, 0, 275, 0. Okay. Come bombard at Hope's Tendrils. The Baronel Fragments aren't currently doing anything. I want them to come up over this way. Excellent. Now, of course, there are these various ships flying around over this way. These guys are not a threat in the slightest. In fact, they are going to lose to that unupgraded station. Okay, sounds good. Okay, the Trentite Fragments are finishing up, so we're going to push them up over this way for right now. Sounds good. You guys have managed to take down the FTL inhibitor over here. So I want you to come over here, grab this station, and then come back and continue your bombardment. Excellent. Sakurin shards, you're not doing anything. Get down here. And they're just... They're helpless to stop us at this point. I want you to go ahead and push up this direction and clear this. How do you get to the Zorf system? Only via wormhole. And we don't know what that wormhole connects to. Interesting. Maybe this wormhole? Innovation rollout. Let's get a science ship over here to uh, explore the wormhole. And we're going to start seeing if we can find what connects to that. Let's go ahead and grab explosive weapon. There we go. Excellent. The Baronel fragments are not doing anything currently. We are going to set them to bombarding char. Nope, we are not. We're going to send them over there. Sakurin shards, you can come over here. Trentite fragments, you can come on back. And you can position right here. Excellent. Well, we've definitely grabbed a lot of territory already. It's a good thing. Nine fifteen. I feel like they are going to win that. So, to that end, the Lentipaz Fragments, I want you guys to actually swing up here first, and then you can go back. Excellent. The Baronel Fragments are currently not doing anything, and we kind of don't need them over this way. So I want to send them 
over here. It's going to take them a while to get there. But that's still the direction. Well, actually, I feel like they're more needed over here. The Sakurian shards can come over here as well. Once we clean up some of these little gaps up over here. Like, we can't get to this pocket currently. Although that's an L gate, we can get there. Okay. That sounds good. So we'll just wait for some of our fleets to be freed up. We do need to declare on these guys, so we'll make claims on them. Boop. 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 There we go. Synthroid Link is currently claiming over here. That's awkward. We're going to declare on them. Conquer. Declare war. We have declared war. Stone cold. And in we go. That will allow us to bypass this area and come on down over here. But we're still going to have a hard time accessing this area. There are no gateways. There are no hyperspace lanes. There are no wormholes. It's just a synthoid link right here. We're going to open our borders to them. And we're going to improve relations with them as well. We're going to send an envoy over here. Excellent. So let's just see if we can get them to open their borders to us. Let's see. We're going to need to... Oh, we're fully occupied. Okay. We're going to need to push down over this way. You can come down over here. Excellent. An unknown signal, huh? Well, we'll find out what that is. No concerns over here. None whatsoever. And we'll just have to come over this way. The Baronel Fragments are currently inactive. Come on down over here, guys. We're gonna need ya. So yeah, there's actually no way in here, except for through the Synthoid Link. If we improve relations with them... Um, oof. Last month it changed by one. They're tech superior to us? That's slightly shocking, actually. Interesting. Saccharine Shards, you're not doing anything. Come on over. Trentite Fragments, same with you. Come on down. Excellent. Now we are ready to assault over here. How goes this bombardment? 2687. That is not great. I'm actually going to send these guys over here first. It's going to take them some time to get there, but it shouldn't be too bad in terms of number of jumps. Okay. So we're just going to push down over this way. And I want you to get over here. And we're just going to grab a lot of territory from the Tronzaru Assimilators. And it's going to be glorious. Saccharine Shards, you can go ahead and grab this system. There's just very little that anybody can do about us at this point. Okay. Apparently we lost a couple ships. We'll go ahead and get those built. Fantastic. Okay. Colony Excellent. We got another colony made. That's perfect. And we are now in the bulk of the Trenzaru Assimilators. Getting in here will be interesting. 
as well as in here. Some of these pockets may not be reachable immediately. But ultimately, maybe that's okay. Oh, hello, edicts are expiring. Technically, we don't need a grand fleet right now. Our nefarious acquisition will still be going for a while. Scientific revolution, we definitely want to continue that one. And capacity overload, yeah, I think we're fine to continue that one. Okay, there we go. Well, it is pretty much time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue annexing the Trenzaru Assimilators. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.